Omar, stop, stop it. Stop it, Omar. Knock it off. 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 Just watched Fifty Shades Freed again. And I feel like returning it, even though it's costing me $1.75 a day. If I don't feel like walking to the store. And me being me, you know damn well if I walk to the store, I'm going to wind up probably buying sweets or something that would cost me more than $1.75. So that's how I look at it. That's how I look at a lot of things. Oops, didn't know this was low battery. good. I was right. Being both drunk and having contacts in, I missed some key things. Like the fact that, that the person helping hide in the end, that was Liz. I to that totally went over my head the first time I watched uh, this Fifty Shades Free. And of course I'm not going to remember it from the book. I loved the books. But I, I, I thought from the beginning that they had great chemistry, Dakota J Johnson and uh, that Jamie Dornan, whatever, you know. These people in line would, would complain, and the trailers on the YouTube, whatever, they'd complain that it says 
movie. And why did they pick them? Those types of people probably complain no matter what. Whoever they pick, they have to pick someone. I thought they were great. I thought they were great. I thought they were great as Christian and Anastasia. Now it's over with. Although she's doing it from Christian's perspective now. So they'll probably make a movie about no. No, they can't make a movie about that. There's no way they could. They won't they won't make a movie about that. It wouldn't work as a movie version. I just wanted to give we readers, we like, you know, avid readers of the 50th of that, those books. Just because the first book was, was, you know, it doesn't carry over to a movie, though. It wind up being the same friggin' movie. You know, I doubt they would make it into a movie. But never say never, I suppose. I don't think so. It's just like the movie couldn't really be from, because it's first person. That's what I loved about those books too, was Anna's first person from Anna's perspective. And, you know. But her fans asked for it, so E.L. James. I forgot that I read that. That's right, I wonder if the next one's come out. She's, she's going to have to do three from Christian's perspective, like this three from Anna's perspective. Oh, I forgot all about that. You forget things when your life falls apart, you know. Oh, and when I, I said when I visited my mother at the mental hospital several months ago, Prior to when that remember that was when when she my aunt tried to stop me and my and Joe got involved and talked to the lawyer and stuff. Anyway, there was someone in there. Probably not a, not a patient, like staff or something. Well, how old are you? And a lot of these places, they like my mom, and the staff likes my mom, and they tell me they like my mom. But anyway, and I said how old I was, and that person said, oh, and I said I was going to return at 50 next, next birthday. Um, it was... It was, um, or that it was 49, so obviously next birthday it would be 50, but, but then they, they, they said, the, the woman said it's all downhill from, from he, from there, and it's all downhill from there, and I said, I thought I said, not if you don't let it, I might have said only if you let it be. It was one or the other. I said, not if you don't let it be, or only if you let it be, you know? Just the same thing, said, just slightly differently. So I'm excited. I think the movie's going to be cute. I'm excited to get my hair cut. I found out it's been seven months since I got my last hair cut keeping my hair long because that's how I like it. Um, you can't have as much face framing layers that I get. You know, the face framing layers, you can't, the, you have, the shorter your hair goes, the more you can have the, the layers go back. So the longer your hair is, the less the layers go back. So. I generally just, of all, I always say, take off the split ends and they tell you how much split ends you have. I 
usually my hair is very healthy though, remember I use, you know, I, I don't use the cheap shampoo, most of I use, a lot of times I use organic shampoo. My hand is not organic, but it is, you know, it's natural, it's like, it's, it's not like all the harsh chemicals and whatnot that are in the most shampoos. That's usually what I'll say, but then, you know, a lot of times I've also said, I'll say just, cut the split ends off, but sometimes when the split ends aren't that much, I'll have them take more off, you know. Because again, she told me, I didn't really know that, but you, if I want face, more face frame and layers, I have to have the hair shorter. And the people that work in, in those places like super cuts and whatnot might want you to think otherwise, but over the years, I mean, I, I got cuts at those types of places before, I even got a cut, a, my, what's supposed to be this, I got a cut with the, the, the face frame and layers, which is called an angle cut or whatever, with all one length in the back, which I've now had for many years, and I got that at one of those schools. You get what you pay for. And the haircut was cute, but I can definitely tell tell the difference between someone like that and and you know, I pay good money for my haircut. But as you've seen I also don't go every two months or every six you know, six to eight weeks like a lot of people do. Sometimes I'll get in the next haircut. Last time I got my eyebrows done, which is also a fancy place, by the way. And the reason I haven't been back there is it's a bitch to get an appointment. It's far away. Um, one time I was going to go in the wintertime and it wound up being a snowstorm. <laughs> All kinds of reasons. Yeah, when I saw them, the, her last at that fancy eyebrow shaping place. Mm -hmm. It cost just about as much as my haircut. Again, you get what you pay for. I found out from the fancy place that when I was paying five bucks at that place to get my eyebrows waxed. Waxing is not good because you never get the same hairs and you wind up making your eyebrows sparser and sparser. And it's, it's not good. I went to a cheap, cheap place. My Vista. think that meat was supposed to have a slight smell. Never got sick. It didn't taste bad. But again, you get what you pay for. And I used to buy really cheap chicken at that top value place. And I found out here when I had to that the chicken should not smell at all. So I said that chicken smelled there was probably going to turn like soon or something. Mm -hmm. But it tasted great and it, I never got sick. We, we never got sick, you know. When I went and got my eyebrows done last, which about a couple of years ago or something, um, 
the person that did my eyebrows. I, I'd known her for a while, but anyway, I said, yeah, I, I needed a haircut. And she said she liked it, how it was growing out, you know, when I have that angle, the face frame layers and whatever, and then it starts growing out. It's just a different type of look, you know. She liked it. She's like, I think your hair looks good growing out. Someone wrote in the comment, all that remains is a great band. I don't know if I put that I didn't like the song from All That Remains, or I, or I did, or it doesn't really matter because you can be the best band out there and you're still not going to be, not only you're not, are you not going to be everyone's cup of tea, you're not going to be most people's cup of tea. That's what makes the world go round. As for me, I love some songs from a band and hate other songs from that same band. So cute and so funny, huh? Yeah? Sometimes he covers by himself. To watch out for him just because he's blind. He still goes. If I leave something on the, the coffee table in the living room, he goes after it, you know. He, he finds it by smell. Since he can't see, you have to be really careful because he'll knock down other things to get to your empty bowl. But, you know, I, I have eat my bowl clean, you know what I mean? So, but he still could. And if I have a drink, And then I left my box of Triscuits and he was getting into them, but he, I, don't, I got him back from him before he could get, get any of them. Yeah, Fifty Shades for you was good. I hate not having a, a remote for that DVD player, though. I really hate that. You can't pause the movie when you go to the bathroom. You can't rewind it. You can't put put subtitles if, if you know, if the occasion calls for it. There are times I've watched movies with subtitles just so I could understand better what's going on. Maybe the second time I'm watching a movie. Um, can't do any of that. This one had a choice between play theatrical version or play unrated version, which as I've told you in the other videos, not much difference. I've, I couldn't even tell the difference when I watched the unrated version on Netflix, Fifty Shades Darker. But, um, I didn't, it didn't have the remote control anyway, so I had to watch the theatrical word. And I don't know if I could watch the other one anyway. It might only be if you have a Blu-ray player. Who knows? I don't know. I like that. It has a good, good track, you know, good soundtrack for Fifty Shades Free. All the Fifty Shades are great. Those movies all have great soundtracks. This one out of when she's getting to ride that fast, whatever kind of car that is. Trying to get loose the someone's following that. But then he plays a song, The Wolves Are Coming Out Tonight, The Wolves Stop Tonight, or whatever. I don't know what that song is. Fluff Song. I did not have the song, but I like the song, you know. I don't need to have like these deep songs and listen to you when I'm out power walking. So. I think I'm going to have to 
play that song in its entirety. Obviously, they didn't play the whole thing while they were doing that chase. While they were trying to lose the, lose the people that were person was following them or tailing them or whatnot. I might put that song away for three players. Again, I don't know what the song is, I don't know how old it is, I don't know what it's from, but it seems like it would be very enjoyable to exercise too. <laughs> anybody's good time. She's real upset still about that notebook. I'm hoping somehow, just somehow, it is in her apartment and she just overlooked it. That can happen. I've lost things in my life. I'm sure you guys have too. And you think you've looked everywhere for it. And it's just a place that's so obscure. Like, that happened to me one time. I think, uh, like, you could be missing a credit card and maybe back when I had a bed that was up or whatever, but on a bed, but anyway, you look under the bed, you look wherever, and then you find it, it got stuck in between where you didn't look. It could fall down and be stuck behind something. No, I'm not saying that's what happened to Mom's notebook, but she doesn't have any idea how she lost it, and it's of no use to anybody. I just, I don't understand feel bad for her because she's sad. She has enough pain and sorrow and rejection in her life, you know. She did not want to lose that notebook. She was practically crying. She even, she says to me two days later, she's already searched everywhere, I still can't, I just didn't find the notebook. I know, Mom. You're not going to find it. There's a tiny, tiny chance that if I look in your apartment, I'll find it, but I'm thinking I won't. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I don't know what fucking happened to it. I, I, but shit happens. I do know that shit happens. As far as she knows, she hasn't heard. I definitely didn't get emailed back from that church, but I didn't expect to. They don't know me. But how could that woman agree to take my mom to church and then just rudely ignore her calls when all she's doing is asking if you could take me to church. That was supposed to be the agreement. That was the the pastor put out a thing for, for is there someone willing to take my mom to church? Not from her home where she lives, from here. Oh, it's the church she went to for years. That upsets me. love the cell phone. I didn't even know it had this feature, but I've discovered it because I used to have to, if I wanted to set my alarm, I thought I'd have to keep the phone on loud so I would hear it. Now, there's a friggin' thing, this stupid flip phone, but alarm only. It's all cell phones have that, I'm sure. So people can set their alarm but not be bothered by whoever might call, you know, that they don't want to be bothered by. I don't want to be bothered by anybody until their alarm goes off. Oh, it don't make sense. Oh, they're coming out with a, another Jurassic... 
I, I don't know if I've ever told you guys. I probably have, but not to this degree. I love, I love those Jurassic Park movies. Okay? I've loved all of them. The, Ju the recent one, the Jurassic World. And now they're, they're coming out with a new one. It's coming out June 22nd, so it's coming out soon. Um, that's a movie I will definitely do everything in my power. Hopefully my mom will want to go with me to see that movie in the theater. And if you go when it first comes out, you get to see it in the, the bigger theaters, you know. I told you I won't waste my money. Now, I wouldn't have wasted my money to see I See Pretty in the theater. I would wait till it came out on video. It came out on video, but you have to pick some movie if you're going out for, you know, with a friend or with your mom. You know, I'm going out with my mom, taking her out for Mother's Day. Okay, but I'm doing it today rather than Sunday. Couldn't have done it on Sunday anyway. It would have had to been Saturday. And I would rather go to the movies when there's not that many people. You know, there's a hell of a lot more people, including kids on the, you know, on a, on a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, I know. I'm Jurassic World. I'm seeing that in the fucking theater. That's a movie I'll want to see in the theater. I'll want to see it when it comes out on, on DVD. I want to see it again. Most definitely. I love those movies. Loved every last one of them. I forget how many there were, but I loved them. Rampage looks good. Overboard looks good. I was secretly very pleased that my mom chose I Feel Pretty, you know. I think that'll be cute to see. I was glad, but it had to be her choice. There, were, there was only certain ones we both would want to see, you know what I mean? And there was really only certain ones that, that my mom would want to see. So I played the trailer for her for Rampage. Rampage. Overboard, and I felt pretty. And she chose I felt pretty, and I was happy about that. But I didn't want it to be my choice. I wanted it to be hers. Yeah, she know what I mean? You know I'm in this fucking cold because this is my bedtime. I have these on with, you know, nothing on underneath. I got my bra off, so I've got to have the coat. Go to bed and, you know, crap 
my fingers that I dream about the movie I just saw. Chances are it won't happen, but you never know. <laughs> never know. Can't control your dreams, but sometimes I dream about movies that I've just seen. I even had weird ass, weird ass dreams. I think they're kind of nice, I don't know. I dreams about, I think about these Fifty Shades movies. They weren't the movie, they were the... I was thinking it might have been before I ever saw the movie. Yeah, I think it was, might have been before I saw the movie. That was when I saw it, when I was reading the books. So then, since I have no one to go by, it's my vision of who, you know, Christian might look like or whatever. That is. It's just a book, so it's whatever you, fantasy, whatever you imagine the person to be. Go to bed and dream about that movie. But chances are it won't fucking happen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. TTFN people owes. Good night. Wish me sweet dreams.